In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the complete setup of your Epson Workforce 7310 printer. First, we will do the initial setup and then we will do the wireless setup using a Windows laptop and there is a printing test in the end. So let's start with the setup process. Plug in the power cable so that goes at the back of the printer. On the main screen of the printer, press the power button. On the display panel, we have to select the language and press OK. Printer and Summer. You can also select the format like year, month, date. Press OK once you enter the date. Select the time like 12 hour or 24 hours format. Enter the current time. Press OK. Next step is to install the setup in cartridges. So this printer comes with the four set of ink cartridges, so black and color. So lift this section. Now you can lift the printer from this side. It's a door, and wait for the ink chamber to move. First step is to take the ink out of the plastic packaging. So remove this package. Just have to open. Also remove this yellow sticker or the seal, and this goes like this. So place black in the black. You can lift this section to see black is here. So just the nozzle should be facing down and the chip in the front. Press it down. A little lock sound may hear. So remove all the ink cartridges. From the plastic packaging and install them one by one so that is here make sure you remove this yellow seal otherwise the ink will not work and then install it here now close it close this chamber Go to the main screen. Printer to start the ink system. It may take up to 4 minutes. Now click on the dismiss. Select a paper. There are two paper trays in this printer. So you can use the paper tray 1 or paper tray 2. Adjust the size. Place the paper. And close it go to the screen press ok to proceed so this is cassette tray 1 and I have installed the letter size paper plain paper now click on the done and press ok so we have done the initial setup of the printer next is to connect this printer with the Wi-Fi network of your home or office so that we can use it for wireless printing. Scroll ahead and click on the Wi-Fi. So we are going to use the first method that is router. So press OK. Start setup. Wi-Fi setup wizard. Select your Wi-Fi network and enter its password. So you can use this keypad. Setup is complete. Printer is connected to the Wi-Fi network. You can just select if you want to participate in the Epson products or not. So select the option you want. Now press the home button and you should be able to see the wireless signal on the top. Next is to connect this printer with your laptop for wireless printing. In the laptop, we have to add the printer. So go to the search section, go to the settings, select Bluetooth and devices, select printers and scanners. 
here we have to add the printer so click on the add device on the next page it will display Epson Workforce 7310 series printer click add so printer is connected it says ready so if you look below you will see the Epson Workforce 7310 series select it it has all the options for example I'm just going to print a test page automatically the paper tray will come out and it will print so that's the complete setup of the printer with the Windows laptop and then we can start using it thanks for watching